welcome to edupediaworld.com. My name is Vomika Soni and today we will discuss about mitosis and meiosis, their significance and difference. In my previous video lectures, I have discussed about mitosis and its main stages such as prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Also, I have explained about meiosis and its different divisions like heterotypic division and homotypic division comprising of prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1 and prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2 respectively. In the current video lecture, I will tell you that what is the significance of these two divisions and what are the differences between meiosis and mitosis. I hope that you will understand each and every term related to today's lecture. So let's begin. Significance of mitosis. Mitosis plays an important role in vegetative growth, wound healing, repair and regeneration. Proper size of an organism is maintained by mitosis. Mitosis helps in asexual reproduction, example, binary fission in amoeba. The old decaying and dead cells of the body are replaced due to mitosis. Mitosis also maintains the number of chromosome as those of the parents. These all were the significance of mitosis. Now I will tell you about the significance of meiosis. Meiosis has the greatest significance for the biological world because the meiosis maintains a definite and constant number of chromosomes in the organisms. By crossing over, the meiosis provides an opportunity for the exchange of genes and thus causes genetical variation among the species. What would happen if the gametes were deployed like any other somatic cell of the body and the organism was reproducing sexually? Every generation would have double the number of chromosomes compared to the previous generation. Also, in the absence of crossing over, variation within a species would have become absent, leaving no basis for evolution to work upon. These were the significance of meiosis. Now we will discuss about the differences between mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells. We are all aware that what are somatic cells? These are all the cells except the reproductive one. In case of meiosis, the process takes place in the reproductive cells of the body. In case of mitosis, it produces cells 
for growth and tissue repair. But meiosis produces gametes. The two daughter cells are formed in mitosis. But in case of meiosis, four daughter cells are formed. Each daughter cell is diploid in mitosis. But in meiosis, each daughter cell is haploid. In case of mitosis, each daughter cell is genetically identical to the parent cell. But in meiosis, each daughter cell is genetically different to the parent cell. Crossing over does not occur in mitosis. But crossing over occurs in meiosis during prophase 1. Chromosome duplication is followed by single nuclear division in case of mitosis. But in meiosis, chromosome duplication is followed by two nuclear division. In case of mitosis, the chromosome and gene in each daughter cell are identical. But in meiosis, the chromosome and gene are randomly assorted between gametes. This results in genetic variation. Mitosis requires less time. Meiosis requires longer time. So, this was all for today's video lecture. Today, we have discussed about the significance and differences in mitosis and meiosis. In my upcoming lecture, I will discuss about genetics. Hope you have understood each and every concept properly. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you.